Paano ba mag-share ng mga files and folders between two computers without using a USB flash drive? Watch the rest of this video to find out. Today, we will demonstrate kung paano ginagawa yung simple and basic peer-to-peer -peer networking setup to transfer files and folders from one computer to another. This is done by using yung ginawa natin na crossover network cable. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung video na yun, I'll put a card somewhere sa taas. Panorin nyo muna yung video na yun, then balik kayo dito pag tapos na yung cables ninyo para diretso tayo doon sa ating session. So aside from our network cables, kailangan din syempre natin ng dalawang computer. Yung unang computer natin, yung pagkukunan natin ng file, and then yung second computer natin is where yung files would be transferred to. Also, we will need to set a static IP address para sa bawat computer natin. Kailangan din natin mag-set ng sharing and permission settings for each computer. So, let's start the tutorial. So, now, ang gagawin natin is gagawa tayo ng physical connection between our two computers by plugging in our crossover cables. So, identify natin sa ating mga computers kung nasaan yung location ng ating network adapter port. So, dito sa case ng dalawang computer natin, since identical naman sila, that could be found here katabi ng mga USB ports natin sa likod. So, let's plug in yung one end ng ating crossover cable sa ating first computer. And then, plug the other end of your crossover cable dun din sa network port ng second computer natin. So, to find out if there is network activity, dapat meron tayong flashing na LED lights dun sa magkabila nating mga computers. So, punta na tayo sa ating desktop para ma-set na natin yung ating configuration for our basic peer-to-peer -peer network setup. Now na i-connect na natin yung ating mga computers to their network adapter card with the use of a crossover cable, pinakailangan na natin i-set yung configuration for each computer for them to see each other and to share their resources. So una natin gagawin is buto tayo ngayon sa ating unang computer which is yung ating Windows 8 computer. I-assign natin siya as computer A. We will now assign a static IP address para dito sa computer na ito. After this, isiset natin yung network sharing properties para ma-discover siya nung isa pa nating computer. So to do that, punta tayo sa ating network icon, yung nandun sa bottom right part ng ating screen, then right-click natin, and then open Network and Sharing Center. Now once na nandito na tayo sa Network Sharing Center, click natin yung adapter settings, and then select natin yung ating Ethernet adapter, and then right-click. Click natin yung properties. So, i-untick natin o tanggalin natin yung checkmark doon sa ating IPv6. And then, i-highlight natin yung ating IPv4 or Internet Protocol version 4. And select natin yung properties. Now, isi-set na natin yung ating IP address for computer A. So, i-click natin yung use the following IP address. And then, sa corresponding box ng IP address, type natin 192.168.1.0. That one. Para sa ating subnet mask is automatic na 255.255.255.0 And ang ating default gateway is 192.168.1.2 Then click natin yung OK And then close Close na natin yung network connections window And then let's move on to change advanced sharing settings Dito sa advanced sharing settings, since temporary connection lang naman ang gagawin ko, usually binabago ko na lahat yung settings na may kinalaman dun sa network profile. So, nag start ako sa private, and then I turn on network discovery. File and printer sharing, turned on by default, and home group connections allow Windows to manage home group connections. Sa public, for guest profile, I turn on network discovery again, and then turn on file and printer sharing. And for all networks, public folder sharing is turned on by default, File sharing connections is by default then. Then sa password protected sharing, since ito naman ay private na network, dalawang computer lang naman kasi ito, I turn off password protected sharing and then I click save changes. And that's it for our computer 1. We will now move on sa ating computer 2. So once na na-finish na natin yung pag-configure sa ating computer A, we will now move on to our computer B. In this case naman, mayroon tayong computer na may installation ng Windows 10. 
same procedure from before, pero mayroon na tayong babagoyin ng konti sa IP address. So to configure our second computer, right-click ulit natin yung ating network icon and then select natin yung open network and internet settings. Select natin yung change adapter options. Right-click ulit natin yung ating network adapter. Then select natin yung properties. Tulad kanina, tanggalin natin yung check mark dun sa box corresponding to internet protocol version 6. And then let's select again yung ating internet protocol version 4. Click natin ulit yung properties. And then use the following address. So static IP address ulit ang ilalagay natin. Sa kanyang box, ilalagay natin 192.168.1.1. Subnet mask uli natin is the same. At ang ating default gateway is 192.168.1.1. Then click natin yung OK. And then close. Close na rin natin yung ating network connections window. Dito pa rin sa settings, select natin yung ating sharing options. And then tulad kanina, babagoy natin yung mga settings with regards to sharing dito sa ating second computer. Now, dito sa private, network discovery is turned on by default, but turn on natin yung file and printer sharing. Sa guest or public networks, turn on natin yung network discovery, and then turn on natin yung file and printer sharing. And for all network, select natin yung turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in public folders. Leave natin yung file sharing connections as default, and turn off natin tulad kanina yung password protected sharing. Then, click natin yung save changes. So, tulad nung nabanggit natin kanina, yung mga settings na to is only temporary. Since ang purpose lang natin is makapag-share or makapag-transfer ng files from one computer to another using a crossover cable. But in some scenarios na mayroon tayong mga multiple computers in different locations, some of these settings are not applicable. Kasi mayroon din dapat tayong mga restrictions on what files and folders at permissions should be shared with other computers. But this would do for our example. So now, mayroon na tayong basic na network. Try natin ngayon na mag-share ng files and folders between this computer and the other computer, which is Windows 8 yung kanina. Right-click tayo sa ating desktop. And then, let's select new and then folder. Let's name this folder, folder from... PC2. And inside this folder, gawa tayo ng isang text file. For example, how may laman. So yung text file natin, rename natin siya as sample file. And close natin. Dun sa create natin folder, right click natin siya. And then let's select properties. Let's now share this folder. So, click natin sharing. Click natin yung share. And then, let's choose kung sino-sino yung pwedeng umaccess do sa ating folder and file. So, select natin everyone, since dalawang computer lang naman ito. And then, click natin yung add. And then, set natin yung permission level nung tao na in natin na maka-access do sa folder natin. Now, meron tayong dalawa. It's either pwede lang nilang basahin kung ano yung nilalaman ng folder or they could read and write do sa folder na sinare natin. So, let's select yung read and write, and then click natin yung share, and then done. At times, sineselect ko din yung advanced sharing. Then, I click share this folder. Ito yung pangalan ng ating folder kanina, yung folder from PC2, and then I click permissions. So, yung group or usernames na pwedeng umaccess doon sa folder na ginawa ko is everyone, and then i-adjust ko yung kanilang permissions para sa folder na yun. Piniklik ko yung full control para meron na silang change permissions and read permissions para sa folder na yun. As I said earlier, hypothetical situation lang to, no? Ang ating ginagawa is nagta-transfer lang tayo ng one file or folder from one computer to another using this simple network. So once okay na yung ating permissions, we'll click apply and then click OK. Apply again and then OK again and then close. Now let's see kung makikita natin sa ating computer 1 yung mga files and folders na sinare natin from this computer which is computer number 2. Switch tayo ngayon sa ating computer 1. So, now na nakapag-switch na tayo sa ating computer 1, check natin kung makikita natin yung ating file and folder na sinare from our computer number 2. So, to do that, kung tayo sa ating file explorer again, then select natin yung ating network. 
And let's see kung alin yung pangalan ng ating computer number 2, which is in this case, is yung desktop TRN6R1i. So, pag kinlik natin yun, may kita natin yung ating shared folder, which is folder from EC2. And then, we could see yung ating sample file. So, yun yung mga steps para makabuo tayo ng simple na network using our crossover cable para makapag-transfer tayo ng files from one computer to another. These settings could be done in any edition of Windows. Kung napansin nyo kanina, Windows 8 yung ating computer A and Windows 10 yung ating computer B. Or any combination of computers running Windows installations from 7 to 10. As I said earlier, disclaimer uli, ang mga settings na ito is only applicable if you want to transfer files from one computer that you own to another computer. In short, private network ito. Hindi applicable mostly yung ating sharing settings kung ang ating mga computers is more than two and nakaspread out sila sa iba't ibang mga location. For that, we will be using a switch and a proper server client setup. And also, once you're done transferring files from your computers, at gusto mong kumunik naman sa iba pang mga networks, kinakailangan mong ibalik yung default settings ng iyong network adapter such as yung settings natin para sa IP address and also yung sharing properties natin. This is because nagset tayo ng static IP address and kung kinakailangan natin kumbit sa ibang network which is usually merong DHCP server na nag assign sa atin ng ating IP address, we have to set all of our settings into default to be able to join that network. I hope may natutunan kayo para sa ating tutorial ngayong araw. And if you like to see more, like this video and click on the subscribe button para madagi kayong updated kung kailan tayo maglalabas ng ating mga bagong videos. And I'll see you in the next one.